Let's see how they handle this. All right, you did a very good job covering that information and we've been encouraged not to talk so much. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next subheading. And it's entitled, Keeping a Balanced Attitude Toward Work. But um, not to get too far off track, Angela, last time I was here, you were filling out some applications because you were looking for um, a second job. How is that going? Well, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And while I was preparing for our Bible study, I read over our information. And um, I decided to fill out one of these instead. You're going to do your pioneer. That is awesome. Just getting baptized in July and now pioneering. That is so commendable. But I have to ask, you were so determined that, you know, a second job is just what you needed when I was here last week. May I ask what made you change your mind? Well, like I mentioned, um, we've been talking about prayer a lot. Mm -hmm. So I've been praying and then going over the information. And then my job, you know, I work with the school system. And so we have some extra time off in November and December. And I thought, you know, now or never, put Jehovah, you know, first. So I said, I decided to just jump out on faith. Again, Angelique, that is so commendable. I'm proud of you. More importantly, Jehovah's proud of you. And I just want to take the time to say, you know, you've always been a great student. You always prepare ahead of time. Your scriptures are looked up. Your book is highlighted. And you not only just look over the information, you find ways to apply it. And this is no different. So once again, that is to be... Um, a commitment, it truly is. So let's go into this information that has such a motivating factor on you. In paragraph 18, we're gonna answer the question, why is it not easy to maintain spiritual balance? And can you read that for me? Um, maintaining spiritual balance is not easy in these last days. With their critical times hard to deal with, finding a job and holding on to it can be a real challenge. As true Christians, we recognize the importance of working hard to provide for our family. But if we're not careful, pressure in the workplace or in the world's infectious, materialistic thinking could interfere with our spiritual pursuits. Let us consider how we can keep our balance, making sure of the more important things. Very good reading. So again, why is it not easy to maintain spiritual balance? Because, you know, if we're not careful, I love that um, sentence where it says the world's infectious, materialistic thinking could interfere with our spiritual thinking. But we have to really be careful because, you know, it is infectious. It's very, it truly is. And that's why First Timothy 6, 9, and 10 is there, which helps us to appreciate we should be determined not to fall into te that temptation, which is, again, one of the reasons why I say the decision that you made is to be commended. You shouldn't underestimate or that isn't something that you took lightly. Mm -hmm. But um, once again, that decision is based on scripture and Bible principles. And because of that, you also applied, <clears throat> excuse me, was mentioned there first um, Philippians 1.10, and that was making sure of the what? The more important thing. Very good. So let's go on to paragraph 19, answering the question, why is Jehovah worthy of our full trust, and what does such trust help us to avoid? Place your full trust in Jehovah. Is he not worthy of such trust? After all, he cares for us. He knows our needs better than we do and his hand is never short. We therefore do well to listen when his word reminds us, let your way of life be free of the love of money while you are content with the present things. For God has said, I will never leave you. I will never abandon you. Many full-time servants can testify to God's ability to provide life necessities. If we truly trust that Jehovah will care for us, we will avoid becoming unduly anxious about providing for our families. We will not allow secular work to cause us to neglect spiritual activities, such as preaching the good news and attending meetings. So why is Jehovah worthy of our full trust? Because I really like what it says. He will never leave us. He will never abandon us. And so as we said in the past, God cannot lie. Very good. Now it tells us to read Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And there it says, trust in Jehovah with your whole heart and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways, take notice of him, and he will make your ways straight. Mm -hmm. And the second part of that question, what does such trust help us to avoid? Uh -huh. Well, I'm being unduly anxious about providing for our family like I was. I was looking for a second job, you know, because I was trying to, you know, do it myself. But like I mentioned, after studying, rely on Jehovah. 
to a more believer. And one of the things that I appreciate was the end part of that paragraph. When we do these things, we will not allow secular work to um, interfere with our spiritual activities, such as what at Matthew and Hebrew, what do those bring out? Um, preaching the good news that's going to be preached to all the earth before the end comes, mm -hmm. and of course Hebrews not forsaking the gathering of four together. Very good job covering that information, Angelique. You know, I also enjoyed preparing for this lesson. Um, I had to do a self-evaluation, and with that being said, you know, when we preach to people, it's an interchange. We, we teach, but it's also a way of reminding us so I have set some plans for November, and that was to increase my time as well. So maybe after we finish our study, we can go over a schedule together, because I really look forward to helping you to achieve that goal of pioneering. I love that. Thank All right, well, let's go ahead and finish on.